Right, today, today we're going to look at uh, queuing. Uh, a lot of people have asked for assistance in that for the exam, so I thought I'd run through some of the things we do in a queuing question and do two um, questions so we can have a look at them. First thing is to look at the assumptions. Whenever we do one of these questions, we assume that the customer, as soon as the customer is finished being served, the next one's ready to be served, so there's no lag time between the two. There are no breakdowns or price checks and FPOS transactions, so it doesn't alter the uh, service time unless indicated in a question. The person being served is not included in the queue length, and that's very important. And we look at multi-server queues in tests and exams. And there's normally two servers. As one service server, as one customer is finished, the next one rocks up ready to be served. The arrival time is when the customer is lined up to be served. The service time is how long each customer is served for. The start finish time is the start service time and finish service time, so that's the time that the person starts being served and then they leave. Customer waiting time is the difference between the starting service time and the arrival time. The server idle time is the amount of time the server is doing nothing, and that's used by the finish service time and then the start service time, the difference between those two. The queue length is the number of people waiting to be served at the start of a service period, okay, and that helps us work that out. So let's have a look at the question and see how it goes. Shop has two servers that serve continuously. Customers arrive every two, three minutes. Each customer requires four minutes of service time. However, customer three took 12 minutes to be served. The shop opens at nine and there's one customer ready to be served. Illustrate the situation for 10 customers. Also, we want to look at the efficiency of the queue. So we want to work out the average customer waiting time and the percentage server idle time. So let's have a look at how we set it up. This is just number of customers down here, or you have to go up to 10. They arrive at nine o'clock, and then every three minutes, another person turns up. So we just roll that down like that. The servers is just the, either server one or server two. We've got two servers in this question. This is the service time. Notice that they're all four, except for, except for number three, it's because uh, customer number three takes 12 minutes to be served, as told by in the question. Okay, so how do we do it? We start across here and go 9 o'clock for the first one to 9.04. They start at 9 o'clock, go to 9.04 because the service time is 4 minutes. Then at 9.03, another one rocks in. Server number 2 takes them and goes from 9.03 to 9.07. That means server number 1 is now finished. So at 9.04, they can start serving. But notice that the person doesn't turn up till 9.06. So server number 1 takes them at 9.06, so there's a bit of a lag time there, and they take 12 minutes, so it finishes at 9.18. Which means that server number two at 9.07 can come and serve the next one. The next one comes in at 9.09, .09, so server number two takes them at 9.09, .09, and it goes through to 9.13. Notice that they, they can now serve again because server number one is still serving. So 9.13, they come across here and they can take the next person. This person turned up at 9.12, so they can be ready at 9.13, they go through to 9.17. Once again, they are free next. So server number two takes the next person, which goes for four minutes from 9.17 to 9.21. Now you can see that they finish at 9.21, but server number one finishes at 9.18, so they can take the next one. So server number one, who finishes at 9.18, then comes down here, and takes the next customer, customer number seven. So server number one, four minutes, 9.18, goes through to 9.22. 9.21, server number two is ready, they can come straight in and take that customer. Notice now that they're arriving at 9.21 and being served straight away. Server number two takes it through to 9.25. At 9.24, server number one is free, so they come from here, 9.24, taken through to 9.28, and then server number two is then free, they can pick it up at 9.27 and 9.31. Okay, so let's have a look at customer waiting time. That's how long the customer arrived, the difference between the arrival time and the start service time. So this person gets here at nine, served at nine, no waiting time. 9.03, 9.03, all the way down. So we get to about here. This one turns up at 9.12 and gets served at 9.13. So they have a one minute wait. This next customer turns up at 9.15, served at 9.17, a two minute wait, and you keep on going down. 
and you see after that 918, 918, 921, 921, 924, 924. Then we add up the customer waiting time to get a total, which is 3, and divide it by 10 because we've got 10 customers. So it's 0.3 of a minute that they are waiting, customer waiting time, which isn't too bad. Let's have a look at the server idle time. 9 o'clock the door opened. This guy gets starts serving at 9 o'clock, so no server idle time. This one here starts serving at 9.03, so they have been waiting around for three minutes. Then we have a look at this one, 9.04, they don't start again until 9.06, two minute wait. Let's go to number two, 9.07, they don't start till 9.09, so it's a two minute wait. Then 9.13, 9.13, they start straight away, so it's zero, 9.17, 9.17, Zero. Then we come here. Make sure you check this cust server number one. They start at 918. They finish serving at 918. So therefore it's zero. Next one's nine. Let's have a look at um, this one here, which is server number two. They finish at 921. Start serving at 921. So it's zero. This next one, server number one, finishes at 922. Starts at 924. So it's a two-minute gap between those two. Two minutes. And this one here, server number two is at 9.27, finishes at 9.25, starts at 9.27, so it's two. So you add up the server idle time and it's 11 and that's an average of 1.1 and a maximum of three. Let's have a look at Q-Link. Q-Link, you start from this column and you go across. So customer number one arrives at nine, gets served, there's no one waiting. 9.03, Starts being served at 903, there's no one waiting. 906, 906, 909, 909. So there's no people in the queue there. At 912, if you come across here, this is 913. So there's one person waiting because this is bigger than this number. So one person waiting. 915, we go across here and then go down. So 915, is that bigger than 915? Yes, so that's one person waiting. Is that bigger than 915? No. So therefore, there's only one person in the queue. And then we come to 918, 918, 921, 921, 924, 924, 927, 927. So they're all being served straight away, so there's no one in the queue. So your queue length is um, only got those in there. So your average queue length is 2 divided by 10, which is 0.2. It okay, didn't show up here, so it's 0.2. So 0.2 is your queue length average, which is pretty tiny. Now to work out the average customer waiting time, just have the how many the total customer waiting time divided by the total number of customers, and we get an average of 0.3. The percentage server idle time is this number here, which is 11, divided by the time that we were running. So we started at 9, it went to 9.31. So we're looking at a 31 minute time block. So it's 11 divided by 31 times by 100 to give you a percentage and then divide by the number of servers. Now I've got a solution down here but it's wrong because I've got the wrong number here. This should be 11. So it should be 11 divided by 31 times by 100 which gives you a percentage and then you divide it by the number of servers. Okay. So this here should be 11 divided by 31 times by 100. We get the 11 from over here. This gives you, then you divide it by 2 because that is there are two servers and that gives you your percentage server idle time.